good fucking amount yeah. of lands to have. And like, what is it? That was the first time I've had Twilight Prophet. Do I have the city's blessing? No. What? Yeah, right. Since when? What did I ever do to the city? <laughs> Might have been that public defecation. You thing. played the Doom of Depths. Yeah. I played it overboard, and now it's... everything's a swamp, and they're like, all this fucking water damage. Seriously. <laughs> How do you build a castle on a swamp? <laughs> uh, well, you can do it three times, and that one's six. <laughs> yeah, because the foundation of the three towers underneath it. Yep. <laughs> Uh, are we oh, yeah. in break yet? We're not in break, but I want to hit the button right. Wait for it now. Soldiers. And I just keep making 1-1 one, one white soldiers. And when Zerda attacks, she breaks each one of them. And then, uh, should you kill my Amara, I, Zerda attacks, sacks one of the fucking guys, you lose your guy. Works pretty well. Okay. I just like having a deck that Zerda works in. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that, that Taza like, no mercy enchantment mm -hmm. kind of thing. Works great in a game where you can't choose to not attack. Yeah, right. <clears throat> I don't know what deck to play. I want to play Taunus. You want to play Taunus? No, I want to play Kalia. <gasps> One last time before I tell myself I'm going to rework her. And then, and then hopefully I can see more things that I won't spend miss. Spend a week not reworking her. Yeah, maybe. Uh, anything you want to play against? Uh, I don't know what you got. Uh, Everything except Axis. Cool. And Brawling. I don't have your decks memorized. Uh, Prosper, Eight and a Half Tails, Yogmoth, Niv Mizzet, Zaxara, Zerda, Zeroland, Chandra. Oh man, I always uh, like going against Chandra. Only because I generally stand a chance. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about Chandra. <laughs> As again, she's not there to win, she's there to activate her ultimate. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. But I don't, I don't mind playing me some Chandra. Oh, you know, I think I hit the break too early, and I'm... We, all right. Remind me afterward to fix the standings. I think I logged a Kalia Chandra, which should have been uh, game two of whatever the hell we did previously. What? Why aren't you charging? Why are you or why aren't you? Why aren't you? Because that charger sucks. Oh, and also, it's hard to reach through a case. I besleeved this thing. No, it doesn't. Mm, why don't you sit right... If you've got the light on the bottom, it's as plugged in as it's going to get. There it goes. Yeah. I mean, this charger doesn't really keep up with the fact that I'm on Twitch, but... Yeah. No, I'm telling you, it doesn't, it doesn't like, reaching through. Like, distance is hard. Uh, so what you get for not having to plug in your phone. Yeah. Which is not an advantage. Uh, <laughs> well, think about it, because if, if it was on a plug, you could pick it up and move it around, but yeah. now it's stuck right there. Uh, Which like helps me with not having to yeah. use it, you know. Constantly, am I like I should look at my phone? All right, you S Apple fan. See if there's anything going on, and by that I mean I have so many goddamn phone games. Yep. I just downloaded another one because I'm a freaking idiot. Yep. <laughs> they made an exact replica of AFK Arena, except it's all Naruto characters, and I was like, I like some Naruto characters. <laughs> What? It's going to give me Gara? Sure, I'll play this game. You have my attention now. Whatever the hell of this, the name of this game is. Yeah. I, don't even know, I don't even know the name of it. I want to make a. I wanted to make a, game, a video, and in that video, I'd make fun and be like, judging by the popularity of these crap games, you guys don't care about the quality either. And mm -hmm. then I would scroll up and be like, uh, Alex likes this game yeah. on Facebook. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I don't actually like it. It I just gives me stuff if I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Grand Summoners I've actually been enjoying. Now that I have, like, decent characters and levels are doable, it has a lot more, a lot more staying power. One time deck. Are you in mid game? One thing? time deck. Let's go. Oh, so close. Maybe I'm not that excited about Black Market. I, I pitch a Scour, which is like a really, really fucking dumb idea. I feel like Black Market would be perfectly fine just being like, instead of three and two black, just one and two black. Mm. That would be a $50 card. Absolutely. 
But like three and two black, it's like it's not helping you mana ramp. No. Oh, okay. Suppose it was just a black, but you had to remove the counter to get the mana. Oh yeah. Like you only get the mana on the turn after something dies, kind of like a. Well, you could do that, but like a coalition relic. Mm -hmm. But no, I mean like it would just be remove a counter, get float a black, which is fine. But a creature has to die for it, so it's kind of like um. Phyrexian Altar, but... Oh, no. Yeah, okay. It would have to be... <laughs> right. There would have to be, it would have to be, like, remove X counters, tap it. Because if I sack my dudes to a Phyrexian... Well, I mean, Phyrexian Altar still works on Black I think, Market. I think at 5 mana, the fact that it is a, a cumulative, really fucking strong. Yeah, but you got to get to the 5. And if I'm at 5 mana, I'm probably done mana ramping. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, what if it was just tuned? Anyways, I pitch it, Hand of Animal Blast, and Obnixilis Unchuckled. Unchuckled? Yeah. Thank God I'm playing a deck that I search less than any deck I run. Yeah. Well, pitch him, so. Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, I feel like there would be some hilarity if we, like... If I had an Obnixilis Unshackled and I said, okay, go ahead and search your deck five times. Mm -hmm. But I don't, like... Are you ready? I don't know if I have enough, like, target player searches their deck. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't think you have to worry about that. There's enough things that say, I go look for a basic land to put it on the battlefield. Yeah. And I'd have to pay ten life and sack a guy for it. It's yeah. going to stop me from doing it. Yeah, that's true. You know, fetch lands are dead cards now. That's true. Yeah, but you don't run them. Uh, do you want to battle dice? I We'd love to run those. Really run like fetch lands in all the decks that I have fetch lands in. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, right, exactly. Uh, which I'm pretty sure is, at the very least, Shatterfang. There's a, er, not Shatterfang, the other one, Zexara. Zexara tutors a lot. Battle dice? Uh, yeah, sure. One auto death, mm -hmm. 20 auto kill. 18. 16. Cool. I got a 22. I got a 24. 13. 5. I got a 9. I got a 19. 16. Another 5. <laughs> I got a 40. Awesome. Gonna do the whole thing. Sweet, sweet. And set. And set. I will... Concealed Courtyard enters tap unless I control two or fewer, and I do. Actually, wait, hang on. I think I have. I hit the button, but I should have. Sense into my tap. Okay, go. Ooh. Mountain, go. Oh, I should have played that one. Inspiring Vantage tap unless I control two or fewer others. Nice. And so I go. Oh, the choices. Today's beer is brought to me by, well, me, I get Joe Ryan. Stigma Lasher. Go ahead. Oh. That's why you wanted to play against this deck. I forgot that was in there, but <laughs> yes, subconsciously. I, oh, end of the turn. At some point. Alright, I draw some mysterious cards. Temple of Triumph. Enters tapped, period, but I get to scry one. I know what this card is, and I leave it right there. Um, I got two mana, and I say go. Ha, ah, it's a mountain. I swing with a stigma lasher. I take it. And can no longer gain health. That's right. Tender. This is not an emblem. It's completely different. Completely different than an emblem. But I've been lashed in a stigma way. Okay. And return top. Mm -hmm. Or at some point. It says that the stigma of the lasher lasts long after the lasher is stigmatized. Is that what it says in the flavor text? Uh, it says the extinguisher's curse lasted, lasted long after her departure. 
I don't know who the oh Ashling. Okay. Ashling is the extinguisher. Gotcha. Uh, swamp. Oh, this this is there. Red, white, black, black, white. I think I'm gonna give up on three color decks just because that's a pain. Okay, <laughs> four mana. Mana, mana. Do, 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 do. Start by putting a dark seal plate right there. And it's a go. Move to combat. Swing for four. Two each. Mm-hmm. Um, let me get rid of Chandra. But you can have a basic land. Nice. And then I'll take two. Oh, I forgot to mark the other two. Still can't gain health from the, for the rest of the game. Let's mark a second on that. There we go. I'll just grab that one because it's nice and Pringled. Proud of every single one of my foil lands, except for the fact that you can really tell where they are. Yeah. Really stretching the bounds of what is tournament legal. Mm hmm. That's into play tapped. Um, let's get an Imperial Recruiter. No, he's cool. He's like. When he enters, I go search my library for a creature card with power two or less and put it into my hand. <laughs> you know who's a really cool creature with power two or less? Kiki Jiki. Yeah. Which Always can, so good. Which can copy my Imperial Recruiter and I can go look for more. <laughs> <laughs> Should do that. He's got haste. Yeah, and I mean, I have to cast him first, but. Oh, it, yeah, it's in your hand. Okay. Yeah, and it's your turn. Okay. All right. I was going to say top, but draw some kind of card. I will drop the planes. And drop my girl, I guess. I'll leave my planes up. Call you up the vast. That's a cast for me. Oh, you got a chunk of cast. I forgot to mark. Okay. Say go. Mountain. Like a flame tongue kavu. Three damage. Four. Four? Yeah, four damage to target creature. Oh, you can combine it. Okay. And NAE for three. Take three. Can still not gain health. <laughs> <laughs> right, hang on, let me mark that. I wish okay. you got one every single time. And it was specifically the next time they would gain health, they can't, and it removes yeah. the thing. Or if it was like, I don't know, until the beginning of your next turn? I don't know. Is that yeah. It? Mm hmm. Oh, I talked at the end of a turn. Alright. Draw some sort of mysterious card. Playing on a mountain. One, two, three, plus one, plus two for tax. Kalia of the Vast. Woo! Oh, cast. And say go. <laughs> he like. Okay. Oh! I have the Kiki Jiki in my hand. Yeah. But you used up your Flip and Kabu. No, you can copy him. Which is why I have a Kiki Jiki. No, he's non legendary. That's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna kill the guy, yeah. Uh, and then swing for seven. Yeah, this deck isn't, yeah. <clears throat> uh, sorry, seven plus another Flame Tongue Kabu is 11. And sack it at the end of my turn. Your turn. Draw some mysterious card. Uh, we can do some price looking up, but I do have an extra Kiki Jiki laying at home with your name on it in case you feel like trading your wolf. Wolf, you say. Alright, we'll mm -hmm. keep that in mind. Uh, sorcery speed, merciless eviction. Yeah, that'll do it. X all creatures. Bye, hopes and dreams. <laughs> yeah. And you're good. That's all I got. Go ahead. And then I hit the correct 
fucking thing. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, how many cards in your hand? Three. This card is just dead against you. <laughs> Which is never going to work. Um, so we'll play uh, an Obsidian Fireheart for four, and then one for a Skull Clamp. I ran out of Skull Clamps, so now whenever I like play new decks like Prosper and Ashaya and fucking Shatterfang, you know, I'm just, you, you build a new deck and you're just like, I just want to play this one over and over and over again. And for the past five weeks, I've done nothing but play Shatterfang and Prosper. I forgot how awesome it is to have a Skull <laughs> Clamp in a deck. Yeah. Uh, Obsidian Fireheart lets me pay one and two red, put a blaze counter on target land, and then that land says as long as it has a blaze counter on it, it deals one damage to you during your upkeep. And it's your turn. And it's a 4-4-4-4. Four, 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 four. Yeah. I think this deck needs a fucking Nykthos. Mm. He said about every single monocolor deck he ever ran. Give rules disc. Destroys artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. Yeah, that's right. Say go. Enters tapped. He pays one to put a skull clamp on his obsidian fireheart and swing for five. And why not? We'll put a blaze counter on your land. Pick one. Uh, what's your favorite? The black white <laughs> one. Okay. I'm gonna forget what this is, so you're gonna have to remind me, but of course it's at the bottom. It's a blaze counter. Uh, the land continues to burn after Obsidian Fireheart has left the battlefield. Yeah. That's cool. How many cards say that? Alright. Uh, and it's your turn. Begin my upkeep, it blazes for five? For one. For one. One damage. Alright, seven. Oh my god, five would be ridiculous. Also, I tap it and. Uh, and worth oh. every single mana. That sucks. Um, cool. Take my turn. Draw some mysterious card. It's a Badlands. Play it. Perfectly adequate lands. That's what happened. Perfectly adequate lands. And what is this in the Badlands disc? Mad's next. 2002. Yep. <laughs> I went and searched... Uh, <coughs> I said, hey, Google, you know that S thing? Mm -hmm. And it goes, yes. <laughs> I've always pictured a Vinral's disc as a toilet that flushes itself down itself. <laughs> <laughs> Super toilet, no! <laughs> uh, now, what did we say against wishes that involve super things? <laughs> Vampire Tutor. Please do like stuff on the a card. I mean, you know what I need is just... Well, can't end life. Need to kill you real quick, because I'm running low. Uh, <laughs> Put this card on top of it. To life. Tap do the thing. Draw some kind of card. One tap sack it. Destroy all artifacts, creatures, enchantments. Indestructible. I draw two. Um white, black, red. Call you Zena Seeker. You're guaranteed to see one on top of your deck, right? Oh no, because the Sensei's, sensei's top is there. Uh, but I can put into my hand the rest of my bottom after I reveal them. I wait a second. Say goodbye to your top. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Yeah, but at least it's not destroyed. The rest of my bottom in any order. I reveal a dragon, an angel, and a demon, and put them in my hand. What? 
First time ever you see all three? Yeah. First time ever I see any? Yeah, it's awesome. I had a command ready that was going to be like Zenith Sook. Adam and Zenith. Yeah. Adam and Kalia have found zero Zeniths. But no, we don't get to use it. I was playing along at home, about to cut her because of how bad it feels to see nothing. So there's a call you Zenith Seeker. Uh, and I just re re bleh, revealed several things. I've also left myself with two mana. Um, you know who could make his final appearance? That's red or black, right? Dream Devourer. All cards in my hand have foretell two, and a foretell cost is two cheaper. Go ahead. Got 15 turns to kill him and not get hit. Forgotten cave tapped. Terror of the Peaks. How's that for a dragon? Pretty strong. Wish I had one <laughs> in stack right now. Uh, and it's your turn. Take a damage during your upkeep. I will. First side attack. Upkeep. Take a damage. Go to 14. Smoldering Marsh. Enter tap unless you control two or more basics. That's a wow. rare shot. Wow. It goes right on my bad lads. Did I scry or anything? No? Okay. Uh, I could foretell my entire hand out for funsies. Um, what's the call you're going to cost me right now? Two, four, five. Grand total of eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I couldn't equip her. And Terror of the Peaks, uh, when it deals. Uh, when another any creature target. enters, yeah. throws damage at any target. Yeah, that sounds a lot like right at my 2 2. Yep. Um, For like a solemn. Yeah. <laughs> How much time I got? None. Well, I say, I say none. I got 14 turns. Uh, let's see. He's last name, so I can... Do I need something? Okay. First, bam, bam, I will foretell a card. He gets plus two, plus zero at the end of turn. And that card can now be cast on a later turn, but also with its own timing restrictions, for two less. Uh, bam. Bam, I will foretell a card. He's now a 4-3. And... Why not? No, no. Why? Just swing with everyone. Well, no, you got... Oh, yeah, I've got a 5-4 flyer. You're not... You're generally not going to block him regardless. So, I'll leave Kalia. 3 draw coming your way, 4-3. I take 4. Okay. And then, see you. Damage on the board. And I... It's a mountain. Holy cow. Oh, she's got a bit of no, she'll die. Yeah. Leave a blocker up. It's a quake bringer. Uh, your opponents can't gain life. Oh, At the beginning good. of each upkeep, quake bringer deals two damage to each opponent. This ability triggers only if quake bringer is on the battlefield or if he's in your graveyard and you control a giant. Cool. Uh, and when he enters, he's going to face you for five. Which is non combat what a damage. Card. Okay. Which is non combat damage, which makes this Chandra's Incinerator cost a red to cast. 
Uh, and whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, Chandra's Incinerator deals that much damage to target creature or planeswalker that player controls. Cool. So she's going to enter, throw six at your face, yep. hit your Chandra for six, or your Kalia for six, and then Terror of the Peaks in, in the sky. And that should be lethal. Yep. And then I'm all ready to go. Gisela, stop taking thing. And Rude's God, look for some other way to win. <laughs> I had the Awakened Inferno with the Rings of Bright Hearth and the Chandra's Regulator. Yeah. And then was like... Amber's Room can get cut. It's <clears> not good. And Blood Gift isn't good when I'm down to five life. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> uh, was like, all I need to do is see one more land and I'm going to play a Chandra's Awakened Inferno. And I see the Forgotten Cave. Okay! Oh! Through a Terror of the Peaks.